Now this right here might easily be one of the best iPhone tricks that you have ever seen. It's actually really, really cool. You can see right here is my lock screen, but when I want to go to the home screen, you can see how cool is that. So we have a black and white wallpaper, but then it's colorized as we swipe up to go to the home screen. Now this is really cool and you can actually do this very easily on your device. All you have to do is head on to the photos app and locate the wallpaper that you want to use. In this case, I want to use this one. Just simply 3D touch on it and tap on duplicate. Once you have a duplicate of that wallpaper, just go to one of them, tap on the edit button, and then from here, go to the filters and scroll all the way to the to the bottom here and choose the black and white option and now all you need to do for that to work is head on to settings go to wallpaper and right here we'll have your lock screen you can add a new one of course or just customize a current one you tap on the lock screen you add the black and white wallpaper and then you tap on the home screen and you add there the colored wallpaper from here on photos and you're good to go of course you can do that vice versa as well if you prefer to have the colored one on the lock screen and of course the black and white one on the home screen but you can see how cool this looks it's actually pretty pretty awesome you can see that little animation which makes your device look really cool your iphone is probably way way smarter than you think and here's a really good example so when you're composing an email on ios on the stock mail app and let's say you want to send some files to someone but you forget to actually attach those files in this case what i have written here is below you can find the attached files and now when i try to send the email without actually attaching the files you can see i will get actually this pop-up so it says, did you mean to attach any attachments? And just like that, it will notify you that you're actually trying to send an email. We talked about attachments without adding the files. And of course you can tap cancel here and then go back and add your files. Moving on to iMessage and iMessage actually has some pretty cool hidden features like this one right here. So let's say you want to send someone your location. All you have to do is just type I'm at and then tap the space bar and just like that it will show you right there current location so you tap there and it adds your current location and just like that you tap the send button and you're good to go it will automatically give you the option here to select your current location when you want to send the location to anyone on iMessage now here's a really good one you know that now on twitter you can actually pay to have the badge right there the verification badge but what if you want to know which actually has the real badge and which one is paying for the badge? Well, now you can do that. And all you have to do is open Twitter, go to any account you want, tap on those three dots right there, and then tap on share here. And once the share sheet comes up, you will have this button called checkmate. Now to get this button, you will need to actually install a shortcut, which of course will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have the shortcut installed, you do this, tap right there, and you can see it will actually run the shortcut and it will tell you whether that account has the real badge or is paying for a badge. Now here's another really good one. Whenever you get your iPhone wet and you have water on the speakers, you can eject that water pretty easily using this shortcut called water eject. This will also be linked right down below in the description of the video. All you have to do is just tap on the shortcut and choose right here start and then choose intensity. And just as you can see right there, it will start basically playing that sound like a vibration. That way it will actually eject all the water from the speakers of your iPhone. Another really cool thing you can do with Shortcuts app is that you can choose which app you want to use on the dark mode. So if you have an app that you want to always use on the dark mode, even though you have the light mode enabled system wide, you can do that with the Shortcuts app. All you have to do is just go to the automation section, tap on create personal automation and then choose app here and then choose the app where you want to use it tap on done you can also choose multiple apps there tap next and here search for set appearance so that we have set appearance tap on it and of course you choose dark there tap next make sure you have this disabled right here tap on done and you're good to go every time you open that app you will actually have dark mode enabled now, a lot of iOS users have been complaining for years about the mirror effect on the camera of their iPhone. 
but a lot of them actually don't know still that you have that option under settings. It was added to iOS, I'm not sure with which iOS version, but you can actually go to your settings and go to camera, and then right here you will have mirror front camera. Simply by enabling this, you will get that effect on the camera of your iPhone. The sound recognition is a pretty useful feature that Apple has added to iOS. You might need it in some cases and a lot of people might actually need and use this feature. Now it also has a few sounds that you can select from, but what you can do when you go to enable it right here under sound recognition, you can go to sounds and you can actually have your own custom sounds. So if you have the alarms here, so we have fire, siren, and smoke, you can go ahead and just tap here and actually record any of the custom alarms that you might have in your house. And then you also have here custom appliance or doorbell. So you can also, if you have like a custom sound for your doorbell, you can go ahead and record it here. And then your iPhone will actually recognize that sound, even though it's not on the list here. Once you record it, it will recognize it and of course alert you. Did you know that on iOS 16, when you enable a focus mode, you can also have a certain wallpaper you want with that certain focus mode. To do that, you go to settings, go under focus, and when you go to one of your focus modes, all you have to do here is tap on choose. You can see right here, so we'll have your lock screen, home screen, and also the Apple Watch. So you tap right there, and you can choose your home pages, you tap here, and then you can choose your lock screens. So basically choose anything you want here that you have on the list, and you will get that once you have that certain focus mode turned on. You probably have been using the mail app on iOS this way on the portrait mode most of the time. But did you know that it has actually a pretty cool hidden feature? If you just rotate your iPhone like this, you can see what you will get here. You tap that button and you get this like sidebar right here where you can actually so basically select the emails or if you tap there and if I tap on work it will actually expand and now show me my mailboxes are right here and I can go ahead and change between them and of course change between emails here as well. Pretty cool and very very useful as well. Now one really cool thing you can do with iOS is that you can easily clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. Now a lot of people think that clearing the RAM memory will make the iPhone run faster. Well when you clear the RAM memory and it has more space there, it will of course work better but that will be just for a few seconds because things will start piling up again on the RAM memory. But the thing you need this for is when you're having problems maybe with an app, maybe like a frozen app or an app not loading the right way, that means that you might have to clear that app from the RAM memory in order to actually properly reload that app. Now the easiest way to do that, believe it or not, is just opening the camera app. This is all you need to do to clear the RAM memory of your device. Make sure you go ahead and do this whenever you have any problems with any apps on your device and you will see that just opening and closing the camera app will free up a ton of RAM memory on your iPhone. One of the reasons I really love the iPhone and Apple is that they always take really good care of the user's privacy. And one feature that will do that can be found right here under notifications. When you go to notifications, you will have here screen sharing. Now, if you have this enabled and you're sharing the screen of your iPhone with anyone, it will always show all of your notifications. And if you have previews on the notifications, they will basically see everything but what you can do is turn this off and then of course while they're sharing the screen no notifications will be shown to the other user now one of the things that i really don't like about the settings app is that when you have a ton of apps installed on your device you will get a long list of apps and if you need to find the settings of an app you will actually have to scroll a lot there in order to find one app but you can use the search bar to find any particular app you want just like you would search for an app on the app library, you can also search it on the settings app. And then we'll just tap right there and it will take you right to the settings of that app. As you probably know, with iOS 16 and the completely new lock screen, you can now shuffle wallpapers on your lock screen. But when you go to edit these, did you know that you can actually change the zoom for any of the wallpapers individually. So I can zoom in like this with this wallpaper, and if I tap there, it will move to the other wallpapers. I can change the zoom on this one, 
or on this one any way I like. So each of them will have their own separate zoom. You can do that fairly easily. As you can see, you just switch between wallpapers and of course choose whichever zoom you want to use with any of the wallpapers that you might have on a shuffle. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.